Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today I bring you a utter discussion video, kind of, but um, this video will contain some spoiler if you haven't finished Xenoverse 2 storyline yet, but trust me, you would want to come back to this video because I'm going to be talking about how strong is our character actually in the game. Like, how strong is he compared to the Z Fighters? Because if you already played through the Xenoverse 2 storyline, or even Xenoverse 1 storyline, you know that your custom character is pretty damn strong. Now, if you haven't finished the storyline, like I said, you should go finish it and then come back. Because um, I don't want to spoil the story for you because I am going to be talking about the story mode a little bit. So yeah, make sure you guys do that when you finish the story mode. But anyways, if you're still here, I'm guessing you already finished the story mode, so I'm just going to be talking about it, okay? So first off, when you fit Alright, so from level 0, one, wait, 1 to 52, I think? 1 to 52. That's how far I got in level wise from playing the story mode. So I started off at level 1 by the time I finished the story mode and everything else. I was like 51 or 52, one of those two. So you get pretty far into the game and you don't get your... Say if you're playing Saiyan or like Frieza or Human Race, whatever race you picked, right? Well, mm, this sort of apply better into um, the Boo race, Saiyan race and the Frieza race. Because their transformation makes give them a power boost that's like makes more sense in story wise. Because you know, getting a Nimbus Cloud and a Power Pull won't really give you that big of a power boost in the anime or manga. Like, if you think about it, that doesn't really give you a big power boost, but in the game, it does give you a pretty big power boost. And turning giant, right? We've seen that it doesn't really give you a big power boost in the manga or um, the anime. But turning golden, turning to per um, the perm boo form, the um, Super Saiyan. Those give you like a serious power boost in the ma anime and manga, right? And you don't get that until you're level 40. If you guys haven't got it already, that just makes your character even more overpowered if you finish the story mode without it. So, I got my transformation at level 41 because um, I forgot to go check um, the quest when I was level 40. So, I made a Saiyan race. If you guys, ha I don't know how it works for the other two races, the Boo and Frieza and the other races, humans and Namek. I don't know how it works, but for Saiyan, if you hit level 40, you could go to um, Vegeta and the Capsule Corps, and he will train you, and he you will fight him, and he's like, <clears throat> I forgot what he said. He was like, oh, it's not transforming into a Super Saiyan part of your training, and you say no, and then he's like, what? So you don't actually know how to transform into Super Saiyan, and blah, 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 yada, yada. He teaches you how to do it, and once you learn how to turn into a Super Saiyan, by the time that I turn, by the time I learned how to turn into a Super Saiyan, it was, I think it was after the Boo arc. It was after Goku defeated Majin Buu with the Spirit Bomb. That's how far I was in the story mode. Now, if you think about that, our character was strong enough to fight Frieza, to fight Cell, to fight Majin Buu without turning Super Saiyan, without turning Golden, without turning into the Kid Buu, without any transformation. That is pretty damn strong. Now, if you consider turning Super Saiyan gives you a 50, 50 times multiplier in the anime and manga, that is a huge power boost, but in the game, I, I don't know the actual numbers, but in the game, it, it still gives you a power boost. If you think about it like that, if our character was actually in the Dragon Ball universe, he would be stronger than like most of the characters. I'm not sure if he's stronger than Goku and Vegeta, or Beerus, or any of the gods yet, but if you think about it like that, right? Your character, even when I started the Freezer race, I'm pretty sure you guys saw um, Freezer, Freezer arc, right? I'm pretty sure you guys thought of this. How is my character able to fight this? Like, fight these people without having any transformations. I don't get it. That's what I was thinking when I was playing through the story mode. And I was like, wait, did my character just beat Cell and Majin Buu and Frieza without, like, turning Super Saiyan? That question has been coming up to my mind whenever I play the story mode, when I was playing the story mode. And if you're playing Gold, like, um, the, as a Freezer race, turning Golden gives you a huge power boost too, as we can see in the movies, if you guys watch the movies, or if you even play the finish the game it gave him a huge power boost he was able to fight super saiyan blue goku and that is you don't even get that until you're like level 40 and honestly by the time that you're level 40 you should be you should be in playing the mod you should be finished with the majin arc already unless you're still like unless you've just been playing parallel quest and you're still like in the cell saga or something i guess that makes more sense but our characters are actually pretty damn strong and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, like, how strong is our character any? Anyways, would you compare him 
would you say that he's as strong as Super Saiyan Blue? Because in the last mission, when you have to fight your, when you have to fight the fusion, oh boy, that was a heck of a boss battle, man. I love that boss battle. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying that too. Holy shit, that was an amazing boss battle. But we had to fight the fusion between Mera and Toa, and all you had was like Super Saiyan 3. Well, I had Super Saiyan 3, and you guys had like uh, gold, turn golden, Kid Buu. If you're human or Namek, you're even stronger than the Saiyan races. Um, if you never use those transformation, I guess maybe you'll be... I guess that maybe makes you as strong as them, like, in terms of the anime or manga, because... If you're playing a human race and you completed the story mode, think of how strong your character actually is. You're probably stronger than all the Saiyan characters, or all the Frieza characters, all the Boo characters, because you got no power boost. I mean, getting a Nimbus Cloud and a Power Pole doesn't exactly give you a power boost, if you finish the story as a human character, imagine how strong your character is. Your character is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the Fusion Mira in the space form. That's without any transformations. Like, if you had, like, potential unlock, which I don't think that you get, well, maybe you're equipping Kaoken, okay? But the highest you could go is, like, times 20. That's not even as strong as a regular Super Saiyan. Your character is actually so strong that he could probably beat Goku in a 1v1 Super Saiyan Blue. That is... That is blowing my mind because think of how much all these characters go through to develop that power. And meanwhile, if you're playing a human race, Saiyan race, Frieza race, Namek race, whatever, you're you're beating them. Like you you could be compared to them, and you don't even go Super Saiyan Blue. You, all you have is Super Saiyan, um, turn Golden, turn Giant. That doesn't even give you a power boost. The Nimbus Cloud that doesn't give you a power boost. Your character is actually super damn strong. So if he actually assisted in the anime or manga, I'm pretty sure he would go one you one bearers of no problem. Like he doesn't even need to turn Super Saiyan God. That's how overpowered our character is, and that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Have you guys ever thought of that, guys? Like that's what I've been thinking when I was playing the story mode. I don't think people actually think of this, but if you do, co please comment down below. Like. Do you think our character could one me one bearers and win? That's the question I want to ask you guys. Do you think that our custom created characters could one me one bearers and win? And if you transferred your save data from like Xenoverse 1 over to Xenoverse 2, the story mode would have been even better than you. I even better for you. I couldn't do it because my um Xenoverse 1 save data was on Steam and I couldn't transfer over to PS4 because I got Xenoverse 2 on PS4. So I couldn't actually transfer my save data but if you did the story mode would have been like five times better because of how insane it was because you get to fight your own character you get to see him in the story mode and everything oh my god it is just amazing hopefully you guys did that because that was amazing i man i wish i just like i wish before xenoverse 2 came out i would just go out and buy myself a copy of xenoverse 1 and finish the storyline so i could get that save data man holy shit it was amazing the story mode i mean i'm kind of leaning I feel like I like the Xenoverse 1 story mode a little bit better, I don't know why, mm, I don't know. But the ending of Xenoverse 2 story mode beats everything, holy crap, that was hype man. But yeah man, I can't wait for DLCs to come out because I'm pretty sure they add more story content also. So can't wait for that and I will be giving away season passes for people that um, is supporting my channel, like they continue to watch my channel, I could check that and yeah, I will be giving away Xenoverse 2 deals and no, um, season passes for you guys later on in the future along the road so look forward to that guys but anyways yeah our characters are overpowered as fuck so <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video but uh, i will have um player matches and rank matches coming up soon i'm just like getting before that i just want to unlock some more moves to power up my custom created character but anyways aside from that um i have been just grinding tp medals to buy stuff and hopefully i'll be able to get enough <laughs> by this weekend but hopefully I will be able to make a video by um, by today, hopefully tonight. I will be able to finish my player match videos and rank match videos and have them ready to upload next week. So please look forward to that, guys. But with all that aside, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below if you did. And if you're new, subscribe because I have more contents to come and I can't wait to show you guys. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Xenoverse 2. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully you guys do everything wonderfully, okay? But anyways, aside from that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.